love those pants. He looks like you in that bunny outfit. <laughs> Hi, sharks. My name is Scott Howdershell. Well, you can call me the Easter Bunny. And I'm Curtis McGill. We are from Amarillo, Texas, and our product is the Eggmazing Egg Decorator. We are here seeking $350,000 in egg exchange for 7% <laughs> egg woody in our company. Uh, since we were kiddos, little baby bunnies, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas have been using the same old traditional methods to decorate Easter eggs. It's so smelly and messy that some families don't even want to bother. Well, sharks, we have an excellent alternative, <laughs> and it's no yolk. No yolk. <laughs> Say goodbye to smelly vinegar and messy dyes. The egg amazing egg decorator is the new, fun, no mess solution to decorate Easter eggs. We brought along our experts and my kiddos. <laughs> They're going to show you how it works. Just place a hard boiled egg in the opening and turn on your egg mazing. Grab a colorful marker and let's let the fun begin. You just place the tip of the marker to the spinning egg and start making your own designs. Oh, it's cool. simple, clever. creative, yeah. and it really is all the fun without the mess. Wow. That's great. So sharks, who wants to join us and help us change the way families decorate their Easter eggs? It's egg amazing. Egg amazing. <laughs> Good job, yes. What a weird device. <laughs> uh, but what an amazing blazer. Uh, so <laughs> they, they do have a couple trademark registrations, which is which is great to see. Uh, they are in like the toy category. That's kind of how the USPTO classified them. So they have a couple registrations, one for word mark, one for design mark, a logo in class 20 of the USPTO. Uh, and what I would say about the branding is that um, egg amazing, it's, it's a pretty suggestive trademark, right? I know it has something to do with eggs. I don't know if I can eat them, decorate them or whatever with them. But um, it's a good suggestive trademark. It kind of plays on this notion that you can basically slam two words together and make a new word. Uh, it sounds like amazing, but it's like amazing. It, it's a good, catchy trademark. Uh, and those are the kind of like trademarks that we try to coach clients towards. If they're signed direct to consumer, whether that's from their own website or an Amazon store, I would recommend that they have another application to cover class 35, which is online retail store sales. That's a really important one that a lot of clients miss because if you're a product company, you're also typically going to be on the service industry as well in terms of customer support. From a patent perspective, um, I did look into it a little bit. They had um, a patent pending, right? And that's where they, they, at some point during their pitch, they, they said that. But that doesn't always tell you exactly what they've got. Uh, as it turns out, it was a design patent that they uh, are pending with. And so for those, just a reminder, design patent protection covers just what something looks like. Uh, and not what it does. Um, so the, the shape of the, you know, like the, the egg shape of that sort of palette with the hole in the middle. Um, so just the way that it looks, not the fact that it rotates or has functionality.